Hello, and welcome to Gardening with Sol in the land of El Sol, the sun. One of the things about this sunny land is that our soils are very rich in caliche, that white layer of a hard layer. Now, caliche is nothing more than calcium carbonate. Oh, here we go. Here's that white layer. And it can be found at varying depths. If you really look at this slide, there's a few other depths of caliche in this cutaway section of my yard. Um, and caliche is nothing more than calcium carbonate. But it's hard. It's a rock, folks. And um, it can really kind of wreak havoc when you're trying to garden. So calcium carbonate, I said that. Calcium, hey, our bones are made from calcium. Calcium carbonate, um, it's a drug, or I guess a, a medicinal substance. Tums are made from calcium carbonate. Um, our foods and, and are rich in calcium, and our bodies need calcium, but figs and almonds are two plants that grow well here in the Southwest, and they need a lot of calcium to produce their fruits, and that's good, they're calcium-rich fruits that that are healthy for us to eat. But it's not just humans that need calcium, of course. So do chickens, so they can lay eggs, and cows, so they can make milk, so we can make Parmesan cheese. I mean, calcium is a very useful molecule. Um, it's a very interesting molecule, and I don't want to scare you off with chemistry, but one of the neat things about this molecule is that it packs together very, very densely. And what this means is that if you're a seashell, you can take calcium and, and carbon dioxide, basically, and meld it into this really nice, dense, hard shell that will persist in, on the beach for many, many years and even many millions of years. And uh, if you're a microscopic organism, over time, those beach... <laughs> Those layers of seashells turn into what we call limestone and limestone deposits, and those are mined, and those are very useful. You can turn, whoops, excuse me. You can turn limestone into walls, and you can turn limestone into cement and concrete. And if you think of Calcium carbonate. It's a very useful substance. Our, our world would not be what it is today without calcium carbonate. But the problem is when you're trying to grow and trying to dig in your southwest soils. Um, this is in my backyard. Um, <laughs> it's very hard. Uh, we, we're basically digging out the back of the house, and it takes a backhoe to really get into the so the caliche layer and what we're seeing here is at the top of that soil it's very rich brown there there's a lot of organic matter in the soil but then a little lower down is the caliche and that's the calcium basically that when it rains the water carries that calcium down to a certain point in the soil. And this is a backhoe, folks. It's hydraulic, and it hits that rocky layer and gets stuck. And that's why he went back up to the top. He's going to try again. Um, caliche is very hard, even for power equipment like a backhoe. And all that white stuff is, man, that's just rocks. It's just calcium carbonate cemented together. Now, um, over time, you have a very thick layer in some spots. It depends how much rain and, and what is in the soil. Some soils start out with more uh, uh, calcium in them, so they can dig, uh, create more calcium carbonate. And you can see he's barely scraping it. It's just really, really hard substance. And... Um, I'm pausing so the, um, the scraping sound will come through to you. And this is why we're doing this. This is the back of our house. 
see that black layer? That was some tar he stuck on the walls, and that was supposed to keep the water out, and it didn't. So we have to dig all their soil out. And while we're at it, we're digging a nice um, seeding area. But it's taking quite some time. Now, I wanted to show you the upper horizon of the soil. See how dark and rich that is and little calcium carbonate? That builds up over time, naturally. Um, the leaves drop off the trees and the water washes through them and brings their naturally decaying stuff down into the soil, and that's good. But down below is the caliche. It's, it's not impossible for plants to grow in caliche. Look at that. Somebody's roots right down there in it. And it just squiggled and squaggled until it got down there. But it's not ideal growing conditions. And if you really want your trees to thrive and have a deep root system so that they don't blow over in the wind, say, then it is good if you can get down through that caliche layer so that the roots can get down through the caliche layer and grow a healthy tree. Shrubs, uh, not so much of a problem if they blow over in the wind. They're not going to hurt your house. Just more digging. Um, one of the things you can do to get rid of caliche, if you don't happen to have a nice backhoe, is um, get horticultural vinegar. Because remember, vinegar and baking soda, baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. And you know, when you mix the two, they foam up. And in the end, you're, you're left with the, a residue that is less alkaline. That's the thing about calcium carbonate. It's very alkaline. It's 8.0 or even greater, 8.3 at times. And that's the hard part for plants to grow in. So that said, there's an, any number of desert plants um, native to the region, like this paper flower, that just are perfectly happy to grow in alkaline, caliche-ridden soils. So uh, there's little paper flower, Pam's Pink Honeysuckle from Mountain State's Wholesale Nursery. It's gorgeous and fragrant, and that's a tall, shrubby plant. And then there's the little ground cover verbenas. They, they will not grow in my improved garden. They only grow in the caliche soil. So, you know, if you can't beat them, you can join them with the right selection of plants. And that's just something I want to point out. Um, on my site, I always offer plants that grow well in our soils. Don't grow blueberries. They need acid soil. We don't have acid soils. We have caliche and rocks in our soil. And so let's grow fruits like figs and almonds that appreciate those nice rocks of caliche that are in our soil. Thanks for watching. Gardening with Soul in the Land of El Sol.